Hey everybody, it's Kat from How to Draw Cool Stuff, and today I'm going to show you how to draw from an artist mannequin. Um, we're trying to get the likeness of the human body. Human figure drawing is a really important part of drawing realistically, with humans especially. So what we're going to do is use this mannequin today. Not super flexible. Notice he bends this way, but not out. So find a position that is easy to find, it's easy to get without breaking your mannequin. I'm gonna go something like this. And then we're gonna draw what we see. This is drawing from observation. Sometimes these get wound the wrong way. I'm gonna set this off camera, you won't be able to see it as I draw. But what I'm going to do is try and draw a likeness to what I've seen. So I always start with the head. The head is sort of a light bulb shape, something like this. And then I'm going to just add a stick figure body. So I want to allow for the neck, allow for my shoulders, the body. I have a little bit of twist in the body. I've got some hips. And I also have my legs, knee, feet. So I'm just basically giving an outline, a stick figure as to where my body is going to go, the position that it's in. So it's something like that. After you get this basic skeleton stick figure down, then we're gonna go ahead and add some meat. Now, as I drew this, in my mind, I know that the human figure, the adult human body is seven heads high. So seven of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, approximately high. So that is a good indicator of how tall to make it. A lot of the times artists start to draw the head and then they find that they go off the page. So knowing that the human body is seven heads high is a good place to start when judging the scale of what you're drawing. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add some details. Now, my artist mannequin here has little joints that are actual balls, but part of the ball part is hidden. So I'm gonna draw the whole thing just so I get the right idea. Usually people end up making parentheses around the neck. I don't wanna do that. Um, my chest area, I'm just gonna block it in really fast. Joints for the shoulders, cylinders, for my arm pieces. We don't want to get so balls and joints, cylinders and circles, or spheres if you will, and part of those spheres are getting chopped off. And this is just really rough. I can go back in later and fix it up and clean it up, but right now I just want to get a hint of what my human figure looks like. Everything you put down can be changed. Drawing lightly is super important. I'm drawing a little bit dark so you can see, but it, if you draw a little bit lighter, it's actually better. So now that I have my basic outline and idea, I'm gonna go back in and refine it. I can get rid of my center lines, which I don't need anymore. I can erase those. I can get rid of the entire circles and just show portions of them, parts that are covered, and add more detail that I would see in my mannequin. There's little planes on my mannequin that I'm indicating here by using these lines. This is the chest line, the pelvis line. And if you wanted to add shading, you could indicate that a little bit as well with your pencil. I do this with oil pastels on gray paper with my students and it ends up looking really nice. But <clears throat> it being not a flat surface, you would wanna leave a little bit of reflected light in one area. I like to shade and get lighter, lighter, lighter. Everywhere there's a joint, I would make it a little bit darker to indicate that there's a separation in tone and also where a shadow would hit. So this is just super fast, right? You could take your time with this and make it really nice. But this is just my quick version. Every joint I'm attacking separately. So notice 
I'm just doing one piece at a time. I'm not trying to do everything all at once. And every piece has a dark side, every piece has a light side. You might want to go in and blend a little bit to smooth this out. Be careful of not over blending. Take your eraser, do some highlights if you want an area to be very light. But that's basically it. I would continue this and maybe refine it and make some areas darker than others to make more contrast. But that is how you create your quick human figure using an artist mannequin. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you soon on how to draw cool stuff.